Alright y'all, good luck. Number nine. NL East for Larry, Valda with the NL Central. AL East for Jeremy, Valda with the AL Central. Um, NL West for Larry and William, you have the AL West. Let's find a super. I feel like there's going to be one in this case that we've been ripping through. Hope everybody has a good Friday night. I will be off tomorrow. We have some friends and their kids coming over for dinner that I haven't seen in a while. I'd like to spend some time with them and their kids and play with my new fire pit out back. I love you all, but sometimes you got to have balance in life. And I'm having balance tomorrow, and I'm just going to take off. My wife will be happy. I told her I didn't make, make a decision yet. But since there's no new releases, if there were new releases, I'd be here. But we can wait till Saturday and Sunday. The world won't fall apart. David Peterson. Jared Kalenic. He's the man, apparently. Christopher Bryant, the Giant. Oh, look how weird that looks. Chris Bryant, the Giant. Dumb. <laughs> it just, I do love my Brio, man. It is so damn cool. I just bought a whole bunch of new accessories for it. I'm like, I'm just going to go all out. Because all I'm going to do is see everyone using them in the, in the Facebook forums and stuff. There's a nice Jared Kalenic. Um, I bought, I bought the, uh, the grilling kit. It sticks down into the side. It comes up and then it has, and it drops down. You can hang kettles on it. You can put a little grill on it above the fire. Um, I bought a super dope stainless steel cover and lid. I bought, um, bought something else for it. 
the hell was it? The lid, the grill. I don't know. I think I bought every possible item I could for it. What you ugging about, Lou? I did a stadium club earlier in the night, David. You might have missed it. Right? Don't tell me I messed up again. I did a stadium club earlier tonight. You might have been in that one. Stadium club one. This is stadium club two. Which one were you in, David? I mean, I'm looking at Stadium Club Division 1. I didn't see your name in that. Oh, yeah, KB. I know. It's so annoying. I'm looking in Stadium Club 1, D-Chan, that we did tonight. And that had Larry, Gary, Trevor, James, and Daniel in it. And I remember Trevor being in it because I wanted him to get his uh, Braves. So I'm not sure which. They did Stadium Club last night. Maybe you're looking for that last night. Jose Barrios. I do remember seeing your name, though. It's somewhere in some breaks. Although you would not be the first to get your breaks mixed up. Or even your breaker. I'd like to think I'm the only place you guys go for breaks, but I know that is not true. And that's fine. As long as you're here. Number to 50 on the back. Who is it? Pat Corbin. Stan the Man. Number to 50. Yeah, this stuff has great photos, uh, Lou. Don't you agree? Great imagery. No borders. Nicholas Gordon. Wilson Contreras. You there, D-Chan? Trying to help D-Chan out here. That's exactly what I said. They're not like, hey, it's a new stadium club. They're two seventy five a box. Although, to be honest, if they were two seventy five a box, I have a sneaky suspicion we'd probably still be breaking them at two seventy five a box. They're not. They're like one fifty, one sixty. But I do think they're going to go up. I do think, and I'm standing by it, that these are short printed. All I keep seeing are numbered to fifties, numbered to twenty fives, maybe a ninety nine. My allocations were kind of lower, so they didn't flood the market with this stadium club. In fact, I was looking to buy more, and I, nobody has it. Usually they have, right after release day, they're like, hey, we have more miraculously. Would you like some? Well, I would have liked it on release day, and now you have more. And you end up paying a little bit more. CP... World champion. What up, Tyson? Oh, Nick Maton. 
Good old Nick from the Phillies. Yeah, of course I sold my Steph Curry um, shoes and my Steph Curry autograph guitar. Michael Kopeck. Look at that shot. Moniac. And there's the decoy gold. Goldy, shiny looking thing. He's on fire! How much would I pay a guy to do breaks all day? Uh, that's a very loaded question. Me personally or generally speaking? Because <laughs> for me, uh, just here, this whole, I have a, you know, pretty certain way that I want things done and how they're done and personality. And there's a lot of factors that go into it. If I found a perfect fit, like I have with Jeremy, then we work out a deal. Well, I only have another breaker besides myself, and we work out a private deal between us for him to do his breaks nightly, of which I am not going to disclose. So... I don't, I don't know. How about you? I'm looking for a personality, not a breaker. You know what I mean? Luke Voigt. Hey, there's a new one. Jake DeGrom. A short hair version. I want a shirt of this. I could probably find them on eBay. Old school top stadium club shirts. Are you local to here, Elgin? I mean, I'm I'm kind of my ears are in tune for another breaker. I might be building a next another studio here locally that I would like to have somebody on the air all day. Isaac Paredes and doing like loop and whatnot, non sports, because. My other breaker has a full-time job. He's a teacher. Kevin G. Oh, Tani. Cedric Mullins. Dylan Carlson. I have the perfect candidate. He used to be a DJ here in town in the city. On the air and the radio. He's got a great personality. He knows radio. He knows... You can pick this stuff up instantly. The downside is he doesn't know the hobby. <laughs> he doesn't understand the hobby and the cards and the different brands and the players and all the different types of cards. So 
I finally found somebody who would kick ass on the air. It could be like, kind of like we do here with the music and all that, but he doesn't know, and he's available, but he doesn't know the hobby, and he doesn't know Stadium Club, Spectra, he doesn't know anything about the hobby, and that won't work. Or I find somebody that knows all about the cards and knows the hobby, understands the hobby, understands all the cards, different brands, they're a collector, but they may not be the best on the air and clicking around and doing everything that you got to do. Alex Bregman, you know, they may not be savvy with technology up to speed on that element. There's some weird lighting going on tonight and it's driving me gosh darn bananas. I don't understand it. I'm hyper focusing on it. Josh and Nate. Jose Ramirez. We're still looking for our auto out of this, right? A Giolito. Whoop. <laughs> Giolito. Garrett Cole. Well, for about six years, there wasn't. Raphael Devers. Tony Gwynn. Corbin Burns. Or they live in states that don't suck. Exactly, Tyson. Gosh darn it. Or I do find that perfect person. Personality, understanding of the hobby, good with technology and, and you know, knowing how to run this whole thing here. But they make like a million dollars already at their full-time job that they've been at for 25 years or 20 years. And they're like a senior vice president of sales and development. And they're never around and they travel the country. That won't work. Look at that dope card. I'm sure there's breakers out there that uh, get paid hourly. 101, Mike Trout. Is it an auto? Jason H. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's definitely not Jeremy. That's the other thing. So if you're going to hire somebody uh, that has a full-time job, already and is a family man and you're going to pull them away from their family to come sit here and open cards you better pay them pretty good oh yeah you're right panini doesn't have trout autos it's chronicles i do Corey h i do yeah so there's that factor I do have a guy that I'm going to break in here sooner or later. I just, with Black Friday week coming up and not even being ready for that, of course, nothing new there. Um, and then the holidays and then all the products coming out. I'm going to wait to the new year to bring in Mike. What he's going to do. Look at that. Winner. Mike will be doing Pokemon. And Star Wars and stuff. But he doesn't know a whole lot about the sports. So I can't put him on the air opening up these cards. Staring at a number to five of some rookie prospect that he doesn't even realize is dope. Is this going to be our auto or did we get it? Kirby Puckett last pack auto Luis Garcia. This card's freaking dope. I just, that is a winner right there. The kid. Stadium Club, the kid. Going deep. Bye bye. Watching it sail. They should have an insert set called Watch It Sail. And every picture is the batter and how they watch the ball sail out of the park. You're welcome, Tops. 
Watch it sail. And there's Luis Garcia for the Astros in the AL West for William Walls. Having a good week here, aren't you, Bill? Honus bonus. Do you think Honus knew back in the day that one day he would have a card that would be worth millions and millions of dollars? I mean, fanatics. I think they should do real-time jerseys where when you're looking at the card, if it's a jersey card, you know, a relic card, I want that jersey to be the relic in the photo. I mean, I want the jersey piece to be the one in the photo. Do you know what I'm saying? So they could do it. All they have to do is go out, gather the jerseys, mark the exact dates of them, follow those jerseys, build the card, and use the picture from that day. Go out, take pictures of the guy in that jersey, Mark it, track it, and then when there's a jersey on the card, that's the jersey, actual jersey in the photo. I think flood the market is a term that gets overused a lot flood the market what exactly does that mean do you mean flood the market with a bunch of different products do you mean flood the market more frequently than you normally release items do you mean flood the market by increasing production of said products what do you mean by flood the market generally i think you're saying are they going to make a whole bunch of products and drop them all at the same time Yeah. Well, I don't because a lot of the cards are serial numbered. So a card number to 10 is still a number to 10. A card number to 1 is to 1. A number to 25 is to 25. Now, they could make some sets that have those in them, and they're making them up to 299 399 499 But we have not yet seen that. I mean... It's already kind of happening because of the demand. 